Hello, welcome to Rick's Kits. As you can see, I have on my bench the Ford GT40 Mark II. Um, got a bit of light blurring away. The there you go. Ford GT40 Mark II. A kit by Fujimi M124. Um, this is my X build. Um, uh, looking forward to getting this one done. It's fairly simple, or straightforward, should I say, as opposed to simple. Um, yeah. uh, I'm not going to do an unboxing or anything like that on it, because it's, um, it's probably been done by a few other people, but it looks nice. Um, I will do a small look. So what we've got, what we've got so far in, in here, um, so I'm doing this one, number three, uh, red body, as per the box art. This one is a uh, metallic blue with a yellow uh, nose, number six. Uh, I'm not doing that one. But what I did find in the kit, is photo etch which is really nice so yeah i've already taken a couple of pieces off there everything okay you've got bits missing no nope, i've taken them off there because i've actually started the kit um it's not a full engine um it's what do they call it most people call a curbside kit because it doesn't have an engine or not a full engine um, what you do have is uh, basically the back of an engine block with a bit of transmission on the back there um, so yeah that's, that's as far as the engine detail goes um, not a lot to it to be honest with you you've got what, one two three four Pages worth of stuff for it. So yeah, I'll show you what I've got so far. Um, the reason there's been such a delay in getting this video up is because it's I've had a change of work um, rotors or shift pattern. Um, last week I was working um, from. Uh, half past one in the afternoon till 10, 10 p.m. at night so didn't really have much chance of doing anything by Saturday I was a little bit shattered so I spent most of Saturday and Sunday asleep catching up with the work pattern from the week before uh, this week I'm oh itchy nose this week I'm on what we call an early shift pattern so I'm up at half past three in the morning I'll get home round about or three four o'clock in the afternoon so it is now ooh, 10 to 7 at night so this uh, as you, is what I've got so far um, <clears throat> let me take it off of the paint stand so what I have done if, if, I don't know if I can zoom in at all on this one um let me see one moment while I get things in focus there we go not very really good at this stuff find it a little bit difficult to maintain right so we'll go over it a bit so I had a load of parting lines which ran all the way up the body all the way along their back down there, around here, down the front. So I've taken a week getting all those out. And this is primed and primed in wet. We've got two uh, bits of photo which already added, which is there and there. The, I've put the bonnet on. And I've also put, I'm assuming these are engine coolers, 
ducts for the sort of engine from overheating. Um, but yeah, that's all in done and that's all in white. It looks quite nice actually. I've had a had a look, rubbed down a couple of little spots that were um, not showing very well. And this, like I said, is going to be in the red version, number three. Let's put that back on there for now. And get my grubby fingers off it. Um, so yeah, that's going there. And we are going to paint it in Tamiya's TSA Italian Red. I know it's not the right colour. Um, but this is what I have available, so that's what I'm going to paint in. Normally this this paint comes this comes up really nice when it's done. Generally, uh, the glosses um, dry to a very nice sheen. And like I say, you don't really have to put a clear coat over the top, but you can. Um, so yeah, so there we go, guys. That's what I'm up to. That's where I'm at. Um, I haven't got much more to say on that. Apart from thank you very much to my latest subscribers and all my current subscribers uh, for allowing me to continue with my my builds, my support with my channel. Um, yeah, so happy modelling. Uh, I'll catch you on the next step when I've got the paint on this and. We've started put to put the body together, so I'll see you in the next part. Okay, so here we are in nice shiny TS8 by Tamiya Red. Um, I'm not going to touch it because it's still wet. But that's a very, very, very nice gloss colour. It can do with um, going over slightly, maybe another couple of small light coats because around the door just there you can, you can see that's not shine, that's, uh, that's white. So, I think it's the same on the other bit there and a little bit around the top of the engine uh, top of the bonnet or hood um, so yeah there's a couple of little spots that need to be picked back up uh, very very nice red I can see a few little spots that I've mm, Miss not need so just a little bit along the bottom there. Um, and on this side, just there, so I need to pick those up. Yeah, happy with how that one's come out. There you go. So, next stage is give that another coat and um, move on to the uh, interior. And start that. That's going to be uh, I think it's flat black or satin black. Okay, and I'll catch you in the next part. See you soon. Bye for now.